Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Cheese Tight Lines. So, as you can see, I'm just in the process of editing a bit of video. Um, I had an opportunity to go and wet a line yesterday and decided to go up to Colliford Lake here in Cornwall up on Bodmin Moor. Now, I knew it was going to be low. I had no expectations it was going to be full. Let's face it, we haven't seen rain for probably, what, three, four months? Um, and it's affected us all. So it affected us all, all over the UK. The rivers are low, the lakes are low, the locks are all low. Um, I was joined by my good friend Vic, Vic Williams. Hi Vic, thanks for joining us yesterday. Um, and he came along with his camera and we had a walk down from the car park and we could not believe what we saw. Now I'm used to seeing that water level at the Colliford quite low. Now, if you're not familiar with Colliford Lake, it's actually the largest um, body of water in the southwest of in Cornwall, in the southwest. It's approximately a thousand acres. It's massive. It's full of brown trout. There's some really good carp in there, and it's a fly fishery. It's fly fishing only, and it's managed by Southwest Lakes Trust. Now, in the summer months, you expect to see some fluctuation in the water level, and it, every year you see it. Sometimes it will drop 30 or 40 feet. Um, but I could not believe what we saw yesterday. So a little bit of history on Colliford. It's only been in existence since about 1976, 1977, um, which is a little bit over 40 years, right about the time I was born. And basically what happened, it was all farmland on the moor and there was a compulsory purchase for lots of agricultural farmland in the Colliford Downs area and the surrounding villages and hamlets. And over the space of 18 months to two years, they filled it up from the river and it became Colliford Lake. And it's massive, full of fish, huge. And what I'd never seen before is what was the, what left and what was remained from these little villages, from the agricultural farmland, from the hamlets. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what I saw. I want you to see it on the video because I stuck the drone up. Now, it's not a great bit of video because it was quite windy but it was shocking. So apart from the structures that we were walking amongst, we were also walking amongst light bulbs and children's toys, like 70s toys and abandoned trailers. And you could follow the dry stone walling down from the main fields that still are farmed with sheep and cat, you know, boar, cattle and stuff. There we go. And, um, yeah, it was a real shock. Now, needless to say, I blanked. I had no fish, I had a few follows. Uh, obviously the fish haven't gone anywhere, they're just more concentrated in less water now. But it was, a, it was a real shock, but really, in the same breath, really interesting to see this abandoned life. It was just bizarre. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop yabbing because I want you to see what I saw. Enjoy this, it was amazing. Guys, if you like this film, if you like the previous films, please give it a thumbs up, please give us a comment. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. We're getting there, we're nearly 1300 now, which is double where we were last year. So yeah, I'm really pleased, but please show your support and please hit subscribe. Guys, enjoy this video and we'll see you next time. Tight lines.